And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Spartak Moscow up against Arsenal. Yeah, cheers, Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early doors. You've got to use that home advantage, push back the team that's playing against you and hopefully get a goal just to put the pressure on. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Nicola Pepe went in strongly, decisively. Ponce. The defenders will certainly have done their homework, Lee, and on that basis must keep more than a weather eye on Lacazette. Well, his ball possession will be his key. People give him the ball because they know he links the play. You give him the ball, then you make a run, you normally get the ball back, which is very encouraging. The lineup then for the hosts. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending the lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll possession changes hands the interception there and this is the arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Socrates starts with David Luiz in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Samuel Gigo. No let up in the pressing department. Pepe. Obama Yang. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Zobnin, Schürrle, Thiel, Andre Schürrle now in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Jaka, a foul but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Possession lost, intercepted. Jaka. Now with Aubameyang. Terrific block there. Will he find the net? And sadly, you've got to say, miles off target. Well, if he'd have just bent it or maybe just gone for a bit more accuracy. Instead, he went for the strong shot and he just fluffed his lines. Well, that was the chance to take the lead and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Zigo, Guliev. Well, just like at the start of every Arsenal season, Lee, your old club, the players, the fans, shimmering with hope. Well, yeah, shimmering with hope, but we've really got to step up to the plate. Some poor results over the last few years. The fans expect a little bit more. There's no real reason, I can't put my finger on, why they haven't done better in this competition. Well, it's deadlock. Could be a mistake, could be a moment of magic. Surely someone will take this game by the scruff of the neck. Now Lacazette, it's opening up for them, that's how to rob them of possession. 
So a throw in here. Guliev. An Arsenal game in the Champions League. And Lee, you know about these matches better than just about anyone. Do you think the feeling is still the same amongst the fans ahead of these games? Yeah, I hope so. It's an exciting time. Champions League comes around and you've got to get excited with the big game start. Well, it's a constant struggle for them to get out of their own half. And David Luiz gets in the way. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Well, a chance to take the lead. It really is. The crowd sends a goal. Corner kick played in. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? once more quick thinking to dispossess his opponent well the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game Alexandre Lacazette not at his brilliant best I'm sure the keeper will think he's got away with one today he's not been tested at all lack of movement for me is the key
Right back! 